Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the effect of non-competitive inhibitors on the rate of an enzyme-catalyzed reaction. In the last video, we looked at competitive inhibitors. We saw that competitive inhibitors have a structure which is similar to the structure of the substrate molecule. A competitive inhibitor can bind to the active site of an enzyme and prevent the substrate molecule from binding there. And the effect of this is to reduce the rate of the enzyme-catalyzed reaction. Now, as we saw, we can reduce the effect of a competitive inhibitor by increasing the concentration of the substrate. This increases the chance that a substrate molecule will enter the active site and form an enzyme-substrate complex before the competitive inhibitor enters. But remember that this only applies if the competitive inhibitor does not bind permanently to the active site. OK, now in this video, we're looking at non-competitive inhibitors. The first thing you need to understand is that unlike a competitive inhibitor, non-competitive inhibitors do not bind to the active site of an enzyme. Instead, a non-competitive inhibitor binds to a different site on the enzyme molecule, and scientists call this the allosteric site. When the non-competitive inhibitor binds to the allosteric site, it causes the tertiary structure of the enzyme to change. This means that the shape of the active site changes, so it's no longer complementary to the substrate. Now, the substrate molecule cannot bind to the active site to form the enzyme-substrate complex, and the effect of this is to reduce the rate of the reaction. Now, you'll notice that unlike a competitive inhibitor, a non-competitive inhibitor does not have a similar structure to the substrate, and that's because a non-competitive inhibitor does not bind to the active site. OK, now there is one really important fact about non-competitive inhibitors. The effect of a non-competitive inhibitor cannot be overcome by increasing the substrate concentration. I'm showing you that on this graph. Even if we increase the substrate concentration, the non-competitive inhibitor reduces the rate of the reaction by the same amount. That's because the non-competitive inhibitor causes the shape of the active site to change. So even if we increase the concentration of substrate, the substrate molecule still cannot bind successfully with the active site. OK, so hopefully now you can describe the effect of non-competitive inhibitors on enzyme-catalyzed reactions. Mm -hmm.